Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camry Trent. Today we're going to paint peppermint candies. Aren't they cute? This is an easy step-by-step -step tutorial. You can definitely do this. Okay, so let's get started. I have my Arches 100% cotton coal press paper. I have a 2H pencil and I have my paints. I'm going to be using three different types of paints. Excuse me, three different types of reds and a pale blue. So we're going to start by making a circle, the big peppermint. And then for the wrapping edge, we're going to just go line out on diagonal, down, up, over, back in. Out, down, up, over, back in. Make a line in here, and here, and here, and here. And starting from the center, we're going to make like nine curved lines. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, I'm gonna do ten. One, two, then red, 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 and red. So you have five reds, and the best will be white. And then on this side, we'll do our draw our candy cane. If you can't really draw this freehand, just download. A vector image. We're going to do diagonal lines. I curve around and then go back down here. And for our last little guy, this is an easy one. Rectangle, little curve on the end. Again, diagonal lines. And then similar to this wrapping edge, going to go out, cross over, back down. Same then bottom, out, Cross over, back down, and to connect them. So look at that three. If you can see that. So we're going to start painting the middle uh, peppermint. So I have my Grumbacher number ten round brush. I'm going to be grabbing very loose, watery red, and I'm going to put it on every other curved line, like so. This is really easy. I'm just going to place this down, the red. Grab some more. And a little bit more. You want it loose and watery, but not super watery. See, it's already soaking into this paper. And now you're going to grab the red that's darker. And just, I always just tap the edges. Tap the edges with the paint. It's going to bleed into the other color, which is perfect. It makes it easier for you to do this. And it gives you that realistic look. And then you're going to tap it in the middle. It's going to bleed naturally out to the other edges. You see this? I'm going to finesse the edges a little more. And that's naturally going to bleed. So we're going to let this dry a little bit. I'm going to move over to the candy cane. Again, you're going to use the red Like it's watery, but not super watery. I'm gonna fill in all the candy cane areas, every other one. You know, don't worry if it's not perfect. I mean, this guy's not really perfect. I'm just giving you the idea of how it's supposed to go. And again, see it got a little lighter because I'm losing some paint. I can grab some more paint if I want to put it in there. If you want brighter red instead of pale red. Just go right on top of that. It's still kind of wet. Again, you're going to grab 
the deep dark red. It can be like lizard crimson or even medium red and just dab, dab the edges of your red area. You're just tapping with the tip of your pen, uh, pencil, sorry, excuse me, paintbrush. Is that now this one I don't like that that turned into a blob so I'm gonna fix it I'm gonna take some of this paint away I clean my brush and just take it away like a mop just fix that same thing down here I didn't like the way it blended I'll just go like that and now I'm gonna go in and grab a deep alizarin crimson color and dab the edges on this one if it's not bleeding at all you know it's dry you might want to get it a little wet see it's not really bleeding as much so I might have to get this a little wet see how it's giving it that three-dimensional look because it's dark on the edges and lighter in the middle. You can also do that if you, you know, with obviously it's not going to bleed and gouache, right? And you just do like these feather strokes like this going towards the middle if you're using a gouache type paint. It's a thicker paint even the thicker watercolor. See, I'm just feathering it out. That's another way to generate that look. So going back to the candy cane, I'm gonna grab our darker color. And it might not bleed as much because I think we went over to that one and it dried. So we can just put the paint on the edge Go grab some water, clean the brush off, and hit it with some water on the edge. And then it should bleed into that. There you go. Now let's grab the last guy. Again, loose red. on this little peppermint. This would be a lot easier because it's, it's simple, diagonal lines. And I'm going to make the wrapper red also. Change it up from the wrapper from the peppermint candy. You could fill in this whole thing like that. Just don't fill it over here. Go in and grab our darker red. Again, dabbing. Dab the edges and let it bleed. That's the fun part about watercolor. You're just tapping the edges. And let that guy bleed out. If you don't like the way it's bleeding, you can just, like I said, clean your brush, go back and like wipe it up like a mop. Now, I'm gonna take a kind of aqua color. I'm gonna water it down. And we're gonna paint the edges of the peppermint, or it could be, this actually looks more pale blue than aqua. There we go. Just the edges. Of the white part on the peppermint. Same thing over here. The candy cane. Let's 
It's getting a little muddy, but it's all right. Give you the idea. Just the edges. Same thing over here. If you want that to bleed in to a white area, you could do that. You don't have to. You just do the edge part. Or feather it in like I'm showing you here. Feather it. And then on the wrapper, just doing the lines, do this section right here. That will be in the shadow of the wrapper. And then we go in and take the blue, kind of feather it out in where it meets the peppermint. Same thing going in here. If you want to put a shadow, you can do that. And see, I didn't like that. I'm just taking that away. Now, this part, I might keep this brush, maybe not, but I want to do a really thin line. So I'm using my Grumbacker number two, Golden Edge. And I'm going to take that darker red. Now, I'm going to have to wait till this dries a little bit, the blue, because it will bleed. It doesn't feel dry. You might not want to do it. So let's we'll just stop here and we'll dry it. We'll come right back. And we're back. <laughs> If I didn't dry that, it was going to bleed and look ugly. So I'm going to take the red and then put a line right next to the red one I have here. It's just going to make it look more sophisticated, less juvenile, and more professional. Same thing over here. closer putting in the lines and over here this guy and so if you don't like the way this is looking you want to make it more professional get in that dark paint and just like I said, feather out. And here's the shadow of the outside and the wrapper inside here. Put a line here. Come down. Do the same thing here. It's giving it a more realistic. And what do I mean feather feather out here? I'll give you a better example cool a little closer what do I mean by feathering well I'm close up so here we go take the little brush and we're taking the lines just like see them going like little lines like this like in the middle here just feathering them out Even deeper, right? Smack in the middle. Feathering them out. So it gives it a much more realistic. And you would do this not, the consistency of the paint would be less watery, obviously. It would have to be more opaque. I'm going to go in the candy cane and do the same thing. But I want it to make it really more three-dimensional. You see how that simple feathering of the dark paint just makes it pop. Gives it that realistic candy cane look. There we go. And again, go back in. If this blue is 
watered down. You can take the brush and go in and fix that and feather out. Same thing here. Oh, that's looking a little muddy. I'll fix that. Feather it over here. you get the idea. So there you have it, a simple tutorial on how to make peppermints. And you can take these guys and you can make a Christmas card out of them or whatever you feel like doing. Invitations, whatnot. But you get the idea on how to paint it. So if you like this tutorial, please share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so you know when the new tutorial is up.